Hello friends, today we're going to study vocabulary together and my presentation is divided into three parts. They are about time idioms, prefixes and finally we're going to look at some collocations. Hopefully at the end of this presentation you will learn some time idioms and the, with the prefixes we're going to study you will be able to recognize and also make new words and you will have more collocations in your vocabulary there are two practice activities for you and finally i gave you some useful web links to study some more let's start with idioms and what's an idiom an idiom means uh, two or three words combined together to make a new meaningful phrase. So let's start with the first one. In no time. Your order will be here in no time, which means your order will be here very quickly. I need to leave, so I will cut this short. Here, our time idiom is cut this short, and it means stop doing something before you plant. You can say, cut a story short. It's a very uh, popular time idiom, actually. Next one is, I suspect she is dragging her heels about getting married. Here, it actually means, dra by dragging her heels, I think that person is trying to delay getting married. Next one is, I overslept, so I have to stay at the office until late tonight to make up for lost time. Here, make up for lost time, as you see, means you do something quickly because you started late or you did something slowly. I've told it time after time to pick up your clothes. Everything is so messy. Here, our time idiom is time after time, and it means again and again. So, in other words, you can also construct this sentence. I've told you again and again to pick up your clothes. We got to the airport in the nick of time. I'm glad we didn't miss our flight. So here, in the nick of time means at the last moment before it's too late. Another one. I was at the coffee shop killing time before the class started. Killing time means you do something unimportant or trivial while waiting for another activity or something else. Please take your time before you answer the question. In other words, we could also make the sentence as please do not hurry before you answer the question. Our guests should be here anytime now. Again, we could use here, instead of any time now, our guest should be here very soon. In the second part, we will look at some prefixes. And today's prefixes are multi or multi, be or by, micro, mega, trans, and inter. And if we look at their meanings, multi means many. B or by means two, micro means very small, mega means very big, trans means across, inter means between or among. And I found some examples for you to see here. And in the third part of our presentation, we will look at some collocations. Actually, we have studied collocations before. In our all the different levels of speak out series, uh, we see different types of collocations. If you look at the meaning of a collocation, as you see, it means a word or phrase that's often used with another word or phrase. For example, we can think of the pair do or make. You see, we use different words with these verbs. For example, we say make a coffee, make your bed, 
I'll make a cake, make a reservation. But with the verb do, we use generally activities. For example, do ironing, do climbing, do the dishes, or do housework or homework. So, I want to give you an example. In English, for example, we say strong coffee. We don't say hard coffee. So, that's why collocations are important to learn. Because sometimes we make mistakes. And I want to give you some example mistakes. Well, we sometimes hear these mistakes in the lessons especially. Some people say win a department. But actually, in English, the correct form is enter a department. Or you can hear do some changes. But actually, the correct one is make some changes. Or make a party is wrong. The correct one is again have a party. And lastly, this is a very common mistake. People might say say a lie. But the correct form again is tell a lie. The main reason is actually uh, people make these mistakes because they transfer these into the new language from their own language, or in other words, they translate them. So here, let's see some pairs that generally people confuse or make mistakes about. Do and make is one of them. So as you see, with do, we use do a part-time job, do someone a favor, do business with someone, do the right thing, do your best, do harm. But with make, we have other words. Make an attempt, make change, make a choice, make an arrangement, make a contribution. So here are some more pairs that people might confuse. Own and belong is one of them. Keep and stay. Wear and put, people might confuse sometimes. And here's some more, use and go, another pair. So as you see, we use, use social media or use Twitter. But with go, we have some different words to use. Go online, go to a website, go abroad, go mad, go blind, go on strike. So let's continue with more pairs. So here we are almost at the end of our presentation and I have two practice activities for you. The first one is about the prefixes we studied and the second one is about the collocation pairs and you can find the answers. And finally some useful web links for you to study further. Thank you for listening.